Approach lighting systems are patterns of fixed lights of variable intensity that are designed to give the pilot guidance to the threshold of a runway in poor meteorological conditions or at night. They may include distance information, indications of aircraft attitude, or height above the approach plane. As you might expect, these systems vary in their complexity from simple centerline and crossbars to highly intricate layouts compatible with Cat 3 precision instrument approach systems. The determination of the visual criteria for landing can be met by the visual acquisition of the approach light system and the design must cater for the most stringent decision heights and minimum descent heights. Approach lighting systems have developed more or less in line with the advancement in technology associated with instrument approach accuracy and demands. But all layouts, no matter what their design, must comply with the ICAO metric specification. Any ILS or MLS azimuth antenna that protrudes through the plane of the lights must be treated as an obstacle and marked and lit accordingly. The individual lights that make up an approach lighting system may be arranged as single light units or in the form of groupings of three or more lights arranged in a close bar. Centerline lights that conform to the more recent ICAO recommendations consist of five such lights. This configuration is called a barrette. In all cases, all lights shall lie as practicable as possible to the horizontal plane passing through the thresholds, provided that no other object other than the ILS-MLS azimuth antenna shall protrude through the approach plane of the lights within 60 metres of the centerline, and no light other than a light located within the central part of the crossbar or a centerline barrette shall be screened from the approaching aircraft. A simple approach light system consists of a row of lights on the extended centerline of the runway extending for a distance of not less than 420 metres from the threshold, with a row of lights forming a crossbar 18 metres or 30 metres in length at a distance of 300 metres from the threshold. The lights of the crossbar will be bisected at right angles by the centerline lights. The centerline lights shall be placed at intervals of 60 metres. But if improved guidance is required, they may be placed 30 metres apart. An example is shown here. The lights in this system are fixed and normally coloured white. Each centerline light shall consist of either a single source light or a barrette of at least 3 metres in length. On a non-instrument runway, the light should show at all angles in azimuth for a pilot on base leg and final approach. The intensity of the lights should be adequate for all conditions of visibility and ambient light. For a non-precision approach runway, the light should be show at all angles in azimuth to a pilot on base leg or final approach, which does not deviate by an abnormal amount from the path defined by the non-visual aid. The lights should provide guidance during both day and night in the most adverse conditions of visibility and ambient light. A precision approach Category 1 lighting system shall consist of a row of lights extending from the centerline of a runway over a distance of at least 900 metres from the threshold. It shall have a horizontal row of lights forming a crossbar 30 metres in length bisected by the centerline lights at a distance 300 metres from the runway threshold. The crossbar lights may be spaced up to 6 metres apart, but between 1 and 4 metres is usual. The lights forming the centerline shall be placed at longitudinal intervals of 30 metres, with the innermost light 30 metres from the threshold. The centerline of each crossbar light shall be fixed and show variable intensity white. Each centerline light shall either be a single source in the innermost 300 metres, two lights in the central section, and three lights in the outer 300 metres, which will provide distance information. Barrette lights may be used and be of at least 4 metres in length. If the centerline lights consist of barrettes, they may be supplemented by a capacitor discharge light that will flash twice a second in sequence, beginning with the outermost light progressing towards the threshold to the innermost light. They will be capable of independent operation. At those aerodromes where CAT2 and CAT3 approaches are conducted, 
or complex approach lighting systems are installed to enhance the ability of pilots to achieve the visual criteria needed to complete a landing. You will find many variations of this kind of lighting, but they are all based upon the Calvert 5 bar and centerline or Ikeo Barrette lighting systems. All systems are distance coded and give some elements of attitude information. The lights will extend over a distance of 900 meters from the end of the runway threshold and possess two side rows of lights extending 270 meters from the threshold and two crossbars, one at 150 meters and one at 300 meters from the threshold. The lights forming the center line shall be placed at intervals of 30 meters from the threshold and the crossbars shall be positioned at 300, 450, 600 and 750 meters from the threshold. The side row lights will be barrettes of comparable intensity to the surrounding white lights and show red light. They will be equal in length to the touchdown barrettes.